Wait, what's that? In a green bubble that no one ever talks about. This is a hot hand. Really says perfect Peter. We've got a perfect Peter episode. <gasps> du, du, du. Oh, I'm gonna get my thoughts into it later, so let it go. So it is let it go. That's what I meant to say. Sorry for some face sheet, but I had to. <laughs> the episode starts off with the family having a normal, normal Sunday dinner. What could possibly go wrong? Seriously, just watch. Oh yes, oh yeah, this uh, show is called Hard Henry, so Henry uh, does his stuff, like slipping, like slipping, no, not slipping, um, licking, um, the soup of his, just licking the soup. Not eating a properly. Oh, screw wrench. And slouching. And sneeze across the table. What? What do you think it's gonna? Don't be horrid, Henry. You can't help it. I mean, like, you get in trouble for sneezing across the table. When you can't. When it's. When. You know, you sneeze, you sneeze. Do. And Peter, and yes, yeah, this is about uh, the idiot, the idiotic, mighty younger brother of Old Henry. But he played well in this episode, my god. He makes comments about, I'm, I'm new to my, I'm new to my feet properly, mum. I'm sitting properly, dad. I'm boss making a mess, mum. Yeah, that's me. I don't do any of that childish stuff. Okay, so... Oh, oh and also Henry just, uh, throws red into Peter's... On top of Peter's head. Seriously, how does Peter feel pain from bread? Like, bread... Like, if someone throws bread on top of your head and it runs on your head, why does that hurt? I mean, it wouldn't hurt, really. So how can we hurt from a puff of bread? I'm mm, a second. Mm, second. Uh, while the family's in the kitchen, Henry puts up a balloon. Oh no, puts a balloon inside the turkey and blows it up. A balloon up. So that's why the turkey looks it's a balloon of disguise of a turkey. Besides. As um as uh, Mom is trying to cut the turkey, um, I think, actually, I mean, okay, um, Henry would, um, the balloon would be, like, probably, like, five millimeters, five millimeters away from the turkey skin, but, um, if it isn't, then that balloon should have popped as soon as Mom placed the fork in there, but, no, I'm rambling. Next thing, hang mom and dad go after Henry. And then Peter is complaining that, oh, I wish everyone would notice how perfect I am. Wait a minute, what if I was holiday Henry? That's it, to them tomorrow, it's gonna be a new Peter. Horror Peter, away! The second episode with the teddy card showing up because of Peter. The first one was in Hall Henry Christmas, which is kind of nice because this is a perfect Peter episode, so. And it's pretty kind of uh, Peter's ideas of cleverly how stupid is. Okay, one thing is stupid is, like, oh, remember kids, if you want parents to notice you well, all you gotta do is act. Naughty. Yeah, that's gonna drive your parents' attention. What the fuck? That, that's probably something. That's probably dumb. That's probably a dumb idea. But it's kind of um 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 like a clever idea since we see 
Hey, Holy Saint Peter. Anyway. Okay, next morning, Shank's mum announces that based on Quinta that she saw in the first flight in the episode of Hall Chengri School Fair is coming over for a visit. And when he, when she said, I want you all on your best behavior, was she referring to Dad as well? If it is, if he did, if she did, then that's pretty hilarious. Um, I mean, we all seem to, it's honestly pretty so, um, psychic, Mum is. Like, I want you all on your best behavior. All. Probably Henry, Peter, probably Dad. Like, Peter. And does Mum know about this episode? Mum noticed Peter's crying. Oh my god, Mum is psychic. I can't stand Mum is psychic. Okay, so Peter is. Peter tries to be horrid because with, with the old. Peter tries to be horrid with using the old cliff, the old um, devil and angel gag. And. Yeah. For those of you girls that like Pe like Peter, he's in a fair, so yeah. Have fun with looking at that. Um So Peter refuses to fold his bed, fold his pajamas, the end of the bed. And this um wash day? What on earth is wash day? Like, an entire day dedicated to laundry. Oh yeah, laundry is so great. Then we need a wash day. That's how I got my mind that up. Yes. Okay, we cut to uh, the front garden. Oh, I do like um, Henry Stag's dialogue here, like, stupid weed. You knew Great Town Gretchen was coming, didn't you? You're not just as psychic as Mossy, Mr. Mossy, and Mum. And, yeah, Dad talks to him. <laughs> Never mind. And, uh, Henry's looking for slugs, as we see in the pedestal, why he had to put his slug in the title card. And I do like, uh, the way, um, Dad said, Lovely Henry. He's all like, Lovely Henry. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, Pia gets an idea that he can set up a, what do you call it, in the water again? You know, so many water flowers here, and a attached to a hose. A squirt gun, that's it. A squirt gun, and sprays Henry all over it. Him. And that took a defense too, like saying, like saying, well, poor Henry. He maybe should have gone out the way when Peter's watering flowers. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And Peter, you need to work on that evil laugh, or evil horrid laugh of yours. So I, you know, that's the only one you can call it. <laughs> Even coughs, too. Mom comes out and says, Oh, oh, saying it's not that healthy. Are you blind? But for a woman with glasses, she is blind. <laughs> And Henry's all like, No, I'm not going to the bar. And Mum's all like, Go, now. And she has black eyebrows in that shot. Thick black eyebrows. And remember, kids, if you want Mum to, if, it, if Mum tells you to do something, and you won't do it, Mum will get thick black eyebrows, and you'll have to do it. That's the moral of the story, sort of. And then Mum gives gives Peter some chocolate to put in the kitchen, not kitchen now, living room. And yeah, Peter is just looking at them like, "Ooh, chocolate!" Well, I thought Pepper Peter didn't like sugar. Answer me that. Um, no. <laughs> um. Then uh. 
Peter has a wacky idea that he eats all chocolates and he breaks himself a slug. And that slug in the pillow girl is very chocolatey. But I will not eat that slug. No. And speaking with a mouthful. Yes, the mouth of Peter for being hard as it is. Then we get a pointless scene with Henry in the bar and then at the one of the king moments no one will be allowed to be a smart perfect Peter brother. And then Peter just turns to Carol. All the point of that scene. Alright then, if you could just take a scene off the episode and then Great Granta Great Granta Great Aunt Greta arrives. And then, and then, uh, mum looks at Henry and says, Don't you dare touch the chocolate. And I do like uh, Henry's, um, facial expression there. Like, uh, I'll show you. Ooh, hoo, hoo. is it chocolate time? I'll go with chocolate time, chocolate time, chocolate time. It is written all over him. It's written all over him. Seriously. It absolutely is. You can say hello, yes. Ah, uh, there's like, what's over there? There's this. Then, Henry says, Henry, surprisingly, No, Mum, do not tell Henry to touch, to don't, to don't touch the chocolate, because he'll do the exact opposite. Just keep your mouth shut for once. Go some hair. Be, be eyesight. And be respectful to your children. Please, I beg you. <laughs> um, Henry tries to get the chocolate. And he's impressed that Peter's done that. Um, I wouldn't blame him. I mean, it's Lord Henry and Peter's been all right through. I can't blame him for being proud. Next, Great and Greta. Oh, for those of you... If not watched how Henry school fair, I know you watched this episode when you watched episode 20, episode 18, sorry. Green and Greta thinks Henry is a girl, because, it, because apparently, her parents never taught her that Henry's a guy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a little nitpick, but, oh, error, like, mum says, Oops, I just in Harry. And then Henry's just dancing on the floor. Like he's standing up and dancing like so. and that's not if you're fitted to will be on the chair. You do that on the chair. Oh my god. I just I'm not on nothing. Although when uh, they discover that Henry's not in the chocolate, I'm just like throwing him in the air and the floor. How the, how the charges? A little bit of anyone do that. How do we know he didn't put him in his trousers or on his underpants? Uh, well, I guess his trousers because they just slide out of that. Never mind. Great town, great leaves, and we have an old cliche that says, "Leaving already, great town, great Do come again soon." Cliche. And he's a little joke. Mum says, That was horrid, Henry. How dare you make a TV show based off, um, Fran- Francis and Simon's post without the help of our Francis's permission. That's horrid, Henry. And that's a little joke. And I do like Henry saying, Why, thank you. And then Peter, Peter decides to be good again, and Peter Henry chips him over and smashes all the place. Okay, how did Henry, my, her, her, Peter's mum and dad not see his hot stuff in the beginning? But there. Get you tripped over. Oh my god. That's the end of Peter, Peter Peter's first thing. Forward. Yeah, I can't speak now. It's a good episode. Probably a good one for Peter. Peter's not idiot. Put your episode in the description. Uh, subscribe, like, comment.
Channel, channel, tapi kasih di 